Hi, it's Zach from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book to read for you. Today's book is Goofy on the Hillside from 1982. So let's get started. There was once a simple fellow named Goofy who lived on the side of a hill. He was called Goofy on the Hill side. His only neighbor was a kind farmer named Mrs. Hayes. Goofy and Mrs. Hayes were good friends. They never quarreled. If Goofy Apple Tree dropped apples into Mrs. Hayes' yard, did Mrs. Hay mind? Not at all. If Mrs. Hay cow ate Goofy grass, did Goofy mind? Never. A good friend is worth more than a bag of gold, Mrs. Hayes always said. Now Mrs. Hayes needed some money to fix up her farm. Goofy, she said, will you take my cow to the town and sell it? Of course, said Goofy. Goofy tied a rope to the cow and set off for, t- for town. Soon Goofy saw a man who was riding a horse. If only I had a horse, said Goofy, then I could ride instead of walking. The man heard what Goofy said. Say, I could use a cow, said the man. Do you want to trade your cow for my horse? It's a deal, said Goofy. So Goofy and the man made a trade. Goofy climbed onto the horse back. Give me up, he said. The horse took off so fast that Goofy almost lost his hat. The horse went faster and faster. Whoa, cried Goofy, whoa. The horse stopped so quickly that Goofy flew right off his back. Along came a woman pushing a pig in a wheelbarrow. Look at that, said Goofy. If only I had a pig instead of a horse. The woman heard what Goofy said. Young man, said the woman, give me the horse and you can have this pig. It's a deal, said Goofy. So the woman gave her pig to Goofy. Then the woman rode off with her wheelbarrow. Come on, pig, said Goofy. But the pig did not move. Goofy gave the pig a push. The pig still did not move. Goofy pushed harder and harder. That pig would not budge. Goofy lay down to rest. Along came a boy with a goat. The goat was skipping and prancing. Just as merrily as could be. Ah, stuck, said Goofy. If only I had a goat instead of a pig. The boy heard what Goofy said. Hey, mister, said the boy, would you like to trade your pig for my goat? It's a deal, said Goofy. The boy dropped corn in front of the pig. The pig followed the boy down the road. The goat followed Goofy. Hippity skippity. The goat knew how to walk. By and by, Goofy was thirsty. He bent down to drink, to get a drink of water. That goat knew how to butt too. He butted Goofy right in the right into the water. Goofy sat up and looked at the goat. Now that goat was eating his hat. Along came a girl with a hen. The hen was fast asleep. Oh my, said Goofy, if only I had a hen instead of a goat. The girl heard what Goofy said. Excuse me, said the girl. Would you trade that goat for this hen? You bet, said Goofy. So the girl took the goat for for the hen. Goofy was going along happily when the hen woke up. Was she surprised to see Goofy? Flappy flap. She flew over his arm and landed on the branch of a tree. Goofy climbed up the tree. Wait, climbed up to get the hen, crack a branch. Up flew the hen, down tumbled Goofy.
Along came an old woman with a basket of eggs. Eggs, cried Goofy, that what I needed. Would you like to trade your hen for these eggs? Asked the old lady. Old woman? Yes, indeed, said Goofy. So the old woman took the eggs out of the basket and put them in Goofy's hat. Goofy set off with the eggs, but he tripped on a route in the road. Down went Goofy, splat went the eggs. Only two eggs were not broken. So two eggs are better than none, said Goofy. At last, Goofy reached town. By this time, he was very hungry. He must eat something before I sell these eggs for Mrs. Hayes, he said. Goofy went into a bakery. I want to get some bread, he said. Ten cents a loaf, said the baker. All I have are these eggs, said Goofy. Give me the eggs and I will give you a loaf of bread, said the baker. It's a deal, said Goofy. So Goofy made his last trade. It turned out to be his best. What a day, said Goofy. My neighbor wanted me to sell her cow, so I traded it. You traded a cow for two eggs, cried the baker. Of course not, said Goofy. I traded the cow for a horse, the horse for a pig, the pig for a goat, the goat for a hen, and the hen for some eggs. But most of them broke. Your neighbor is going to be very angry, said the baker. Not at all, said Goofy. We are good friends. I would like, well, I would like to see a friend as good as that, said the baker. Then come with me, said Goofy. So the baker closed his shop and went home with Goofy. Mrs. Hayes was glad to see Goofy and his new friend, the baker. Did you sell my cow, she asked. Not exactly, said Goofy. I traded it for a, for a loaf of bread. A loaf of bread, cried Mrs. Hayes. Yes, said Goofy. I was hungry. Well, if you was hungry, I'm glad you could eat, said Mrs. Hayes. But now I cannot fix my farm, said Mrs. Hayes. I have no money. I can fix your farm, said Goofy. And I can help, said the baker. They built a new stove wall. They replaced the barn roof, and they painted the barn. The, then the baker made a chocolate cake. Thanks for your help, said Mrs. Hayes. That is what friends are for, said the baker. And you know, said Goofy, a good friend is worth more than a bag of gold, and he was right. So that was Goofy on the Hillside from 1982. Hope you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. And our next book will be Sir Goofy and the Dragon.